the time, I was going to do a half hour, and I believe Conan was going to follow later. Uh, he didn't want to do that. He quit, and so they gave me the show back. Jay Leno is a comedian, writer, and television personality from the United States. He became the host of NBC's The Tonight Show with Jay Leno from 1992 to 2009 after years of stand-up comedy. In September 2009, Leno launched The Jay Leno Show, a primetime chat show that aired weeknights at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on NBC. Due to its low ratings, The Jay Leno Show was cut to 30 minutes and relocated to the 11.35 time slot two months after its premiere, pushing The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien to 12.05 a.m. Eastern Time, prompting O'Brien's departure two months later. Following the cancellation of The Jay Leno Show in January 2010 due to scheduling and host issues, Leno returned to host The Tonight Show with Jay Leno on March 1, 2010. On February 6, 2014, he presented the final episode of his second tenure on The Tonight Show. He was inducted into the Television Hall of Fame that same year. Jay Leno's Garage has been on the air since 2014. In 2021, Leno will host a reboot of You Bet Your Life. Okay, you ready? You ready? I got screwed! <laughs> you got the pile of money? Yeah. All right. Fine. I mean, that's the way it works. I mean, you know, that's that's the way these things are. That's the way it happens. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is James Douglas Muir Leno, but is also known as Jay. He was born April 28, 1950 in New Rochelle, New York, making him 71 at the time of this production. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. Leno is an avid car collector and owns nearly 300 cars. His car collection alone has been valued at more than $100 million. He has a website and a TV program called Jay Leno's Garage, which contains video clips and photos of his car collection in detail, as well as other vehicles of interest to him. Moreover, Leno is dyslexic and has a prominent jaw, which has been described as mandibular prognathism. Besides, Leno does not drink, smoke, or gamble. He's also involved in charity works. He and his wife gave $100,000 to the Feminist Majority Foundation's campaign to eradicate gender apartheid in Afghanistan in 2001 in order to educate the public about the situation of Afghan women under Taliban control. The Feminist Majority has Mavis Leno on its board of directors. In 2009, he donated $100,000 to Lenny Sogoloff's Jazz Club, Lenny's on the Turnpike, to establish a scholarship fund at Salem State College, now Salem State University. Leno auctioned off his Fiat 500 in August 2012 for $385,000, with all earnings going to a charity that assists wounded combat veterans recuperate by providing temporary accommodation. Jay Leno has been married since 1980 to Mavis Leno, the couple has no children. The two met in 1976 at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles where Leno was performing. Despite the length of their union, Leno revealed in a 2014 interview with the Los Angeles Times that their decision to get married wasn't a romantic one. He didn't even get Mavis an engagement ring until years later because they'd just bought a house at the time. Instead, they married because Jay had his own insurance policy and wanted it to include Mavis in case something happened to him. In a recent Q&A interview with the Wall Street Journal, Leno said, I always tell people that you should marry the person you wish you could have been. That's a pretty good goal. He says he's learned a key lesson. The secret to a long marriage is realizing there's nothing really worth fighting about. Thanks. We want them out of here. Jay, they're very happy with you, but they want you to change. Well, no, well, <laughs> I, I get it right from the horse's mouth, you know, and that's, that's what I prefer. Jay Leno was born to Catherine, his mother, who was born in Greenock, Scotland, and immigrated to the United States when she was 11 years old. Angelo, his father, was an insurance salesman who was born in New York to Italian immigrants from Flamary. Leno attended Andover High School in Andover, Massachusetts, where he grew up. Leno graduated from Emerson College with a bachelor's degree in speech therapy and opened a comedy club in 1973. Patrick, his older brother, was a Vietnam War veteran and an attorney. Jay Leno made his first appearance on The Tonight Show on March 2, 1977 as a featured comedian. 
During the 1970s, Leno appeared in a number of minor roles in films and television shows, including Good Times, Fun with Dick and Jane, Laverne and Shirley, Alice, One Day at a Time, and American Hot Wax. He also appeared on Late Night with David Letterman as a featured comedian several times. Leno was a regular substitute host for Johnny Carson on The Tonight Show starting in 1986. In 1992, he replaced Carson as the host in the midst of controversy with David Letterman, who'd been hosting Late Night with David Letterman, which aired after The Tonight Show since 1982. Many people, including Carson, expected Letterman to be the next host of The Tonight Show. The story of the drama surrounding this transition was turned into a book and a movie. Leno continued to perform as a stand-up comedian during his years on The Tonight Show. In 2004, Leno signed a contract extension with NBC to keep him on The Tonight Show until 2009. However, Jay stepped down to retire in 2009, but soon made a return to television with a primetime talk show called The Jay Leno Show. The show aired weeknights on NBC in September 2009, but was canceled in January 2010. Jay then caused a national outcry when he reclaimed his position as host of The Tonight Show in 2010, pushing aside his replacement, Conan O'Brien. On April 3, 2013, NBC announced that Leno would leave The Tonight Show in spring 2014 with Jimmy Fallon as his designated successor. Leno has maintained an active schedule as a touring stand-up comedian, appearing in about 200 live performances a year in venues across the United States and Canada, as well as charity events and USO tours. He's also made appearances on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon and on Late Night with Seth Meyers, as well as being a guest on the finale of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Get it. You know, Johnny was 66 when he left. Uh, I would be 64 when I leave. And that's about right. You know, I really like Jimmy Fallon. At the end of his reign as host of The Tonight Show, Jay was earning an annual salary of $15 million. His peak Tonight Show salary was $30 million per year. He actually agreed to a 50% pay cut after the 2011 season to help his staff get raises and keep their jobs. Jay earns around $10 million per year from a hectic stand-up touring schedule, which includes more than 200 dates a year. Incredibly, throughout his career, Jay never touched his Tonight Show salary and instead lived off his stand-up income. Jay Leno's net worth is estimated to be around $450 million. In 2017, Leno bought an oceanfront mansion in Newport, Rhode Island for $13.5 million. The estate known as Seafair was built in the 1930s. The 15,851-square-foot home sits on nine acres and has 12 bedrooms, twelve full bathrooms, and three half-baths. The property has an oceanfront pool and tennis court. Leno owns two homes in Bel Air, California. He bought the first home, a 3,400-square-foot, five-bedroom property in 1987, and added the second property down the hill in 1997. Leno also has a 122,000-square-foot hangar in Burbank, California, that serves as the garage for most of his collection of cars and motorcycles. As stated before, Leno owns nearly 300 vehicles. Some of them include a 289 AC Cobra, a 427 Shelby Cobra, a 2011 Audi R8 V10 Spider, a 1931 Bentley 8-liter, a 1989 Bentley Turbo R, a 1928 Bugatti Type 37A, a 1937 Bugatti Alantique, a Bugatti Type 51, a 1918 Cadillac Type 57 Victoria, a 1963 Chevrolet Corvair Rampside, a 2011 Chevrolet Volt, a 1911 Christie Fire Engine, a 1963 Chrysler Turbine, a 1961 Chrysler 300G, 
1971 Citroen DS, a 1936 Cord 812, a 1953 Cunningham C3, and a 1962 Daimler SP250.